What you guys got another news video here for you. Microsoft finally lets you uninstall Edge, Bing and Cortana and some other features like camera and things like that, as well as disabling some ads that are forced upon you inside Windows. Now, before you get too excited, you have to be living in the EU. If you're living in the United States, unfortunately, you're not going to get these privileges as well as, unfortunately, United Kingdom. We are not on that list and we will not be able to uninstall Edge, Bing or Cortana or other features or even disable ads because we're not in the EU and plus we're not in the uh, European economic area. So basically, if you live in the UK, you will no longer take part in all of this because of Brexit and that is unfortunate. So Windows users in this region, if you are living in the EEA, will only be able to enable this feature if they do a fresh install of Windows. And during the setup process, they will be able to choose that EEA region. And this will also come in to DMA compliance, which will then mean they will be allowed to uninstall all of these features. The camera, Cortana, web search from Microsoft Bing, Microsoft Edge, and also Photos. Microsoft have actually made a post about their Digital Markets Act which is in the European economic area, you will be able to use these to basically disable or uninstall all of this stuff. And this is quite useful for people that are living in this area that can take full advantage. No more using uh, PowerShell scripts or debloat scripts to remove all of this stuff. You'll just simply be able to go into the settings pane and just uninstall them if you wanted to. Also, some of the main system components will be marked as system as you can see on the screen here right down the very bottom they will have like a little system icon there which will tell you that this is a system component and as you can see here if you look inside the system menu all the apps listed in there will be renamed to uh, operating system file components labeled as system as you can see on this image here and the system files are now clearly marked system underneath them so you now know they're system files Another thing you can do is from this location is be able to click on the three dots and uninstall uh, Microsoft Edge, uninstall Microsoft Bing and uh, disable all this sort of stuff. You better get rid of all of it, uninstall Cortana. And I think the reasoning for them to give up on Cortana is the fact that they've got their new copilot now, which is another embedded bit of kit, which you can't uninstall completely. You can turn it off, but it's still going to be on the system and they're not going to allow you to uninstall that. So it's just taken over from uh, Cortana, really. So what Microsoft giveth in one hand, they take away in the other. And you just basically can't win with them. So they're giving you being able to uninstall Cortana. But now, uh, basically, uh, they are now pushing uh, Copilot onto you, which is also going to be embedded into the uh, Microsoft Edge browser as well. But if you can uninstall that, that is a bonus. If you don't use Microsoft Edge, that is... So this will be uh, rolled out very soon to you guys. If you are in the EU and you do want to remove all of this stuff from your computer, you will be able to uh, because it now will be set in stone because of the uh, Digital Marketing Act uh, by March 6, 2024. Also, you can see here Microsoft account data in the EEA. Windows will also ask users if they want to sync uh, their Microsoft account with Windows. So Windows data is available. On the other hand, Windows devices in the Microsoft products that users sign into, the information saved to the user's Microsoft account from other Microsoft products will be available in Windows, among other things. So there's plenty to go through here. I'm not going to go through it all in too much detail here. I'll leave a link in the video description for you to have a read up on it if you're living in the EU and you're interested about this stuff, I do think you will have to reinstall Windows to be able to uh, enable these features so you'll be able to uninstall stuff. Again, you won't be able to just toggle something on. They're not going to make it that easy. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. Hope this video has been some sort of help. Uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support, and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.